Did you know that nearly 80% of American workers live paycheck to paycheck? Talk about a reality check. It's a shocking truth, but it's the stark reality of personal finance. With bills piling up and dreams of vacations and shiny new gadgets dancing in our heads, it's easy to see where the money goes. But there's a lifeline, a beacon of hope in this financial fog, the 50-30-20 rule. But don't worry, we're not here to bring you down. We're here to lift you up with the 50-30-20 rule. So, what's this 50-30-20 rule all about? Is it a secret code? A magic potion? Well, sort of. Let's start by demystifying this. The 50-30-20 rule isn't as cryptic as it sounds. It's actually a budgeting rule of thumb that can help you manage your money more effectively. This rule suggests you allocate 50% of your income to needs, 30% to wants, and the remaining 20% to savings and debt repayment. Sounds simple, right? But these proportions, you may wonder. Well, let's dive in a bit. The 50% for needs is meant to cover all those things you can't do without. Food, housing, transportation and such. It's the stuff you need to function and survive in the world. Next up, the 30% for wants. Now is where you get to have a bit of fun. This category is for all those things that make life enjoyable, but aren't exactly essential. So yes, that new pair of shoes you've been eyeing, that fancy dinner, or even that Netflix subscription, they all come under this category. Finally, the 20% goes towards savings and paying off any debt. This is your future-proofing category. It's what will help you build a financial cushion, tackle unexpected expenses, and even help you retire comfortably someday. What makes this rule so appealing is its simplicity and flexibility. It's not overly rigid and can be adjusted based on your personal circumstances. If you're a student with minimal expenses, you might find you can save more than 20%. If you're a parent with kids to feed and educate, your needs might take up more than 50%. The beauty of the 50-30-20 rule is that it's not a one-size-fits-all approach. It's a guideline, a starting point that can be tweaked to suit your individual financial situation. It's the financial equivalent of a choose-your-own-adventure book, giving you the autonomy to decide where your money goes while still ensuring you're on the right track. So, it's not exactly a magic potion, but it might as well be one for your finance woes. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more financial wisdom. Ready to play detective? Great! Your mission, should you choose to accept, involves investigating your income and expenses. First things first, let's get a clear picture of your monthly income. This isn't just your salary. Nope, it's every single penny that you earn in a month. Don't forget to include any bonuses, freelance work or that side hustle you've been grinding away at. Now, on to expenses. This might require a bit more detective work. Dig out those receipts, check your bank statements and don't forget those sneaky little subscriptions that keep quietly ticking away. Once you've gathered all the evidence, it's time for the fun part categorization. Remember our trusty 50-30-20 rule? Well, it's time to put it to work. Start by identifying your needs. These are your must-haves, the non-negotiables. Things like rent or mortgage, utilities, groceries, and transportation. These should take up no more than half of your income. Next up, your wants. This category is a bit more flexible. It includes things like dining out, entertainment, that trendy pair of sneakers you've been eyeing, or even that daily latte fix. Aim to keep your wants to about 30% of your income. Finally, savings and debt repayment. This is your future-proofing category, the one that ensures you're not just living for today, but also planning for tomorrow. Aim to allocate at least 20% of your income here. Remember, these are guidelines, not rules set in stone. Some months you might find yourself spending a bit more on wants, while other months you might be able to save a bit extra. The key is to maintain a balance and to adjust as needed. Now don't panic if your current spending doesn't align perfectly with the 50-30-20 rule. It's a process and it's okay to take baby steps. You might start by cutting back on discretionary expenses or negotiating your bills. Remember, every little bit helps. So now that you've done your detective work, it's time to put those findings into action. Now that we've got our detective hats off, it's time to put on our builder hats. We're building the foundation for a financially secure future here, folks. This is the part where we roll up our sleeves and put the 50-30-20 rule into action. First things first, we need to get organized. Whether you're more comfortable with a classic spreadsheet or a fancy budgeting app, it doesn't matter. What's important is that you have a tool to track your income and categorize your expenses. Remember, we're aiming for 50% for needs, 30% for wants, and 20% for savings and debt repayment. 
Now let's consider a hypothetical scenario. Say, you're earning $1,000 a month. According to the 50-30-20 rule, $500 should go to your needs. That includes rent, utilities, transportation and groceries. $300 can be allocated to your wants. This could be your Netflix subscription, your weekend getaways, or your love for gourmet coffee. And the remaining $200? That goes straight to your savings account or debt repayment. But what if your current spending habits don't align with the 50-30-20 rule? No need to panic. This is where our builder hat comes in handy. It's time for some financial remodeling. Maybe you can cut back on dining out or renegotiate your cell phone bill. Or perhaps you can find additional income streams. And remember, this rule is not set in stone. It's flexible. Your financial situation is unique, and so should be your budget. Maybe your needs take up more than 50% of your income. That's okay. Adjust the ratios in a way that works for you. The key is to keep needs at the majority, wants at a minimum, and savings and debt repayment as a non-negotiable part of your budget. Once your budget is set, it's crucial to monitor it regularly. Keep an eye on your spending and adjust as necessary. Life happens, and your budget should be able to adapt. Maybe a sudden expense pops up or you receive an unexpected bonus. Adjust your budget accordingly but always stay true to the spirit of the 50-30-20 rule. See not so hard, right? You're practically a budgeting pro now. We've saved the best for last, quite literally. Let's talk about the golden 20%. This is the magic happens, where your financial future gets a little brighter with each passing day. It's all about savings and debt repayment. It might seem like a small piece of the pie, but it's the slice that can change everything. First, let's talk about savings. You've probably heard it all before. Save for a rainy day, save for retirement, save, save, save. But how do you actually do it effectively? Well, one of the best ways to maximize your savings is to automate it. Set up a monthly direct transfer into your savings account. Out of sight, out of mind, right? And before you know it, your savings account will have a healthy glow. And let's not forget about retirement. If you have access to a retirement account like a 401k or an IRA, take full advantage of it. It's like a savings account on steroids. The money you put in there gets to grow tax-free until you retire. And in many cases, your employer will match a portion of your contributions. It's like getting free money. Who doesn't love that? Now, on to debt repayment. It's not quite as fun as saving but just as important, if not more so. Start by focusing on high interest debt, credit cards, personal loans, that kind of stuff. These debts are like financial vampires sucking away your hard-earned money with their high interest rates. Pay them off as quickly as possible to stop the bleeding. Consider debt consolidation if you're juggling multiple debts. It's a bit like herding cats but with a bit of determination, you can bring all your debts under one roof, often with a lower interest rate. It simplifies your payments and can save you money in the long run. And remember, the goal isn't just to pay off debt, it's to stay out of debt. So create a buffer, a safety net in your budget to handle unexpected expenses. That way, you won't have to reach for the credit card every time life throws a curveball. And just like that, you've mastered the art of the 50-30-20 rule. Go ahead, take a bow, you've earned it. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, and subscribe to our channel so you can master more financial tips and tricks. Let's build a financially secure future together.